Studies show that new COVID cases are on the rise in nearly every state and more and more people are winding up in the hospital. But are we seeing that trend in our region? WFMZ's Allie Reed is at Lehigh Valley Hospital in Lehigh County. With more, Allie, what can you tell us? Yeah, Bo, many states across the U.S. are seeing these rises in COVID numbers following 4th of July weekend. But the positive is right here in the Lehigh Valley, we aren't seeing that trend. Some health experts say hospitalizations are skyrocketing in several states, and it's all leading back to one thing. 99 plus percent of people in the hospital with COVID right now are unvaccinated. Here in the Lehigh Valley, they're noticing the same trend, just not as high of a percentage. The vast majority of the patients that I've seen for the past uh, two months uh, who have new onset COVID pneumonia uh, are unvaccinated. The next smaller number would be people who have had one vaccine, but not the second. Rhodes says other factors are keeping numbers lower than other locations. The mere fact that our region has more people vaccinated, he says, has a lot to do with it. That competition to get vaccine into the arms of our patients has tremendously helped our numbers in the, the Lehigh Valley. We have low number of variants and we have a high percentage of the population uh, vaccinated. And hospital staff is finally catching a break with COVID cases walking through their doors, even after the 4th of July holiday. And there are two to three, I would say, as opposed to 15 to 20 per day. Some days, no cases of COVID. We've had several here at Cedar Crest, Lehigh Valley. So as plans start to shift and normalcy is on the horizon, it's still clear to hospital staff that procedures acquired during the pandemic, like wearing extra protective equipment, won't go away. Now, Rhodes says you'll see norms um, in terms of wearing PPE really around those flu seasons. So that's going to be in the fall. Now, they don't really know seasonally when COVID-19 is going to fall just yet because it hasn't necessarily fallen into a pattern. So for the time being here at the hospital, they're still going to follow those extra guidelines and continue to wear PPE. For now, life here in Salisbury Township, Allie Reed, 69 News. Back to you, Bo.